This is on mathheels.com where you can find more, more links to math and computer science YouTube videos. Let's take a look at adding and subtracting polynomials. Uh, first off, let's talk about what is a polynomial. Just to refresh your memory. Um, a variable is a single letter. Like X or Y or whatever. And um, we have a uh, term that's either a number a number times a variable and I'll put an S on here because you can have more than uh, one variable now the number can also be um, just the number one uh, in which case you wouldn't write it or a variable times a variable. And I'll put an S on here to indicate you can have more than one. Examples of a term. Uh, 3 is a term. 5x is a term. x squared is a term, um, and it seems like, well, that doesn't quite fit. Well, a variable times a variable. Well, x squared is x times x. Um, we can have negative 7xy to the third. Variable times variables, you got the x times y times y times y, and then you got a number also. Um, so all these are, are terms. Uh, terms are actually separated by pluses and minuses. That's how you can figure out how many you have. We have our um, coefficient uh, can't spell but uh, let's try it again Coe coefficient I think there's an I in there otherwise I just write so sloppy you can't tell anyway uh, coefficient is the number in front of the term Uh, for example, this uh, 3 here, our coefficient is 3. The 5x, our coefficient is 5. The x squared, our coefficient is 1. The, excuse me, negative 7xy to the third, our coefficient is negative 7. Now, um, we got a um, something called a monomial. This is where you have one term. We have a binomial. And this is where you have two terms. And then we have a trinomial, which is three terms. And then we have a uh, polynomial. And uh, it seemed logical that this would be four more terms, but what it really is, is it's one or more terms. By default, um, all the above are polynomials. They're just specific types. Uh, so polynomial is kind of a general form. We have uh, something called a degree. And I'm going to write this where it's most beneficial for you going on in algebra. There are some uh, oddball cases of this, but uh, the degree is um, your largest power of x. Now, when you have different variables, like you have x and y, like this one right here, um, well, the, if I went went through the these these uh, four examples here for my degree, largest power of x. Well, the three there is no x, so the degree here would be zero. For the five x, your degree would be one. For the x squared, your degree would be two. When you have different variables like this one, uh, just have an x here. This is like the first power. What you do is you add these together. One plus three gives us four. So a degree of this would be four. Now, you don't see these at all in college algebra. Um, you maybe see one or two in intermediate, uh, so that it's not very useful. The definition I give you here is the most useful. And um, then we have something called standard form. 
and by default you always want to write your polynomials in standard form. This is where the terms are arranged. from largest power down to smallest. So they're arranged from largest power to the smallest power. My writing is horrible. Largest power, let me try to write it really slow so it looks good, to the smallest power wife is right I am lazy okay now if you have different uh, variables in there like you have X's and Y's you pick a variable usually it's alphabetical like you choose X uh, if you had X and Y and you arrange it in terms of add the X's um, so if you had like X squared and Y squared um, you and then like 5x and, and so forth again it's based upon the X's or whatever variable you pick Now, um, there's specific types of terms. Uh, there's a constant term. That's just where you just have a number. Um, but uh, we won't deal much with that, so I won't write it down. Let's take a look at our first problems. We got 7x to the fifth. And it asks us to determine the coefficient. Coefficient is the number in front, which is 7. And then it says, and the degree of each uh, monomial. Monomial is one term. Uh, well, the degree is the largest power of x, which would be 5. So this, this one here is our coefficient. And this is our degree. So those would be your answers to that one. For our second one here, we got negative uh, x squared, y to the fourth. Well, our coefficient is the number of sat in front. Well, there's an invisible one there, so it's negative one. In our degree, uh, again, when you have different variables like this, you add them. Two plus four gives us six. Now, these next problems, actually, I need to write something down before I those. This um, there's some specific things your polynomial cannot have. Polynomials cannot have number one on uh, negative exponents. They cannot have fractional exponents. And they cannot have variables in denominator. Now, actually, I could spend the rest of the day, uh, if not my life, uh, writing down all the things it cannot have. Um, you know, if I got real specific. Um, but these are the main three ones you'll run across in books. Now, they kind of go right along with our definition above of what is a um, what is a term and so forth. Here we got 3x and negative 4 minus x plus 2. And the instructions say, state why each of the following is not a polynomial. Well, uh, these have to be terms. Um, and to be terms, you have to have um, either a number, a number times a variable, or a uh, um, variable times a variable. Well, when you got x to negative 4, that's not um, a variable times a variable. It actually um, would go down to the denominator. This would become 3 over x to the fourth. So it's actually division, not multiplication. But to make our life a little bit easier, so we don't think that hard on it, um, we'll go with these three items. And it's not a polynomial because we can't have negative exponents. So it says, state why each of the following is not a polynomial. It's because it's got our negative exponents.
Next one. We got uh, x to the fifth minus 3 over x. And it says state y to the following is not a polynomial. Well, variables in denominator. So, variables in the denominator. Can't have that. Let me grab a drink here. Then we'll look at the next one. So, to determine the, the algebraic expression is a polynomial. So, we've got uh, 4x to the third minus 7x plus 2. Say, well, it's a polynomial. Um, well, this is a polynomial. It doesn't have these bad things in it. No negative exponents, no fractional exponents, no variables in denominator. So, this is a polynomial. Um, if it is a polynomial, write the polynomial in standard form. Standard form means from largest power down to smallest. Well, this is in standard form. We start out with our largest power of x, x to the third, then we got x to the first, and then our no x, uh, the constant term at the end. Um, determine the degree. Your degree is your largest power of x. So your degree would equal 3. State if it's a monomial, binomial, or trinomial. It's got three terms. Terms are separated by pluses and minuses. So it's a trinomial. And it says if it's a polynomial with more than three terms, identify the expression as a polynomial. So well, this just has three terms. So those would be your answers. Okay, number six. We got uh, three over x squared. It says determine whether it's a polynomial or not. It's uh, not a polynomial. And if it's not a polynomial, then there's no standard form, there's no degree, and so forth. So you just stop right there. Can't have variables in a denominator. Our next one. We got seven x minus x to one half. Again, the same questions. Uh, it's not a polynomial. You can't have fractional powers. You like those where we um, meet that criteria, then we're just basically done. Let's look at number five. Determine whether it's a polynomial. It is a polynomial. It's a term. Um, standard form, well, there's only one term, so that is in standard form. Our degree is the largest power of x. There is no x, so it's zero. And it's just one term, so it's a monomial. So those would be your answers. And let me start a new page. And we'll look at the next problem. Got two plus 3x plus 4x to the third minus x squared. Same same questions. Uh, determine if it's a polynomial. Well, it is a polynomial. Um, doesn't have any of those bad things. No negative exponents, no fractional exponents, uh, no variables in denominator. So it's a polynomial. And uh, I need to slow down. <laughs> it's just circling that. I'm not done. Uh, write it in standard form. Standard form means from largest power down to the smallest. So I'm going to have an x to the third, I'll have my x squared, I'll have my x, and I'll have my no x. So that's my standard form. Determine the degree. Your degree is your largest power of x, which would be 3. Say if it's a monomial, binomial, or trinomial, well, this has got four terms. Terms are separated by pluses and minuses. So this is just a general polynomial. And those would be your answers. One more of those. And then we'll take a look at combining together like terms. Well, uh, if it's a polynomial, no. It's not a polynomial. You can't have negative exponents. Um, so you just stop right there. Now these next ones are adding and subtracting um, polynomials, but we're going to see this just combined together like terms. So let's look at our first one. There's nothing new here. We got x squared minus 5x plus 2 
plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 3. Now, th these parentheses aren't doing anything, so I can go ahead and drop them now. So we got x squared minus 5x plus 2 plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 3. And if you want to, you can rearrange them so like terms are together. So I got x squared plus 7x squared minus 5x minus 8x plus 2 plus 3. Like terms are the same variable to the same power. These are both x squareds. And to add like terms, you uh, add or subtract the numbers that are out in front. Here we have the invisible 1 plus 7. That gives us 8x squared. Here we have negative 5 and negative 8, which gives us negative 13x. And 2 plus 3 gives us 5. And that would be our answer. Let's look at uh, subtraction. Here if we have x squared, y to the third, minus 2xy, plus 11, minus negative 4x squared y to the third minus 6xy plus 4. Okay. Now um, the first set of parentheses isn't doing anything so I can drop those. So I got x squared y to the third minus 2xy plus 11. Now remember if you have a negative out in front of your parentheses it flips the sign of everything inside. So that's the flip the sign of that that and that. Each one of my terms. So negative 4x squared y to the third becomes a positive 4x squared y to the third. The negative 6xy becomes a positive 6xy and the 4 becomes a negative 4. Now I'll go ahead and rearrange it so like terms are together. Remember like terms, same variable, the same power. So we've got x squared y to the third uh, plus 4x squared y to the third minus 2xy plus 6xy plus 11 minus 4. Now um, again combine together like terms you add the numbers that are in front. Here we got invisible 1 plus 4 that gives us 5x squared y to the third. Over here they're both x, xy so negative 2 plus 6 gives us 4xy and 11 minus 4 gives us 7. Now this is in standard form because if I pick one of my variables like x's, uh, x squared, x, no x. So that'd be okay. Now if, even if I picked y's, it's still in standard form. y to the third, y, no y. Um, you just pick one variable, usually alphabetically you choose the first one like x. Uh, one more of those. We've got two thirds x squared plus one half x minus four plus five halves x squared minus seven thirds x plus seven. And we want to um, add or subtract these. We want them in standard form too. These parentheses aren't doing anything. We've got a plus here. So I'm going to rearrange them putting the x squareds together. So I've got two thirds x squared plus 5 halves x squared plus 1 half x minus 7 thirds x minus 4 plus 7. So these are my like terms, these are my like terms, and these. Now in order to combine these together I need to get a common denominator. The LCM, LCD, uh, 3 and 2 is 6. So I'm going to rewrite each one with that new denominator. Now my first fraction here, I multiply the bottom part by 2, so I to multiply the top part by 2, so that becomes 4, 6. On my second fraction, I multiply the bottom part by 3, so I to multiply the top part by 3, so that gives me 15, 6. Now in these, these will have the same, same denominator also, um, 6. Uh, they don't have to, but this one works out that way. Okay. Here I multiply the bottom part by 3, so I multiply the top part by 3, so it gives me 3, 6. Here I multiply the bottom part by 2, so I multiply the top part by 2, so it gives me 14, 6. Negative 4 plus 7 gives us 3. Well, now that these have the same denominator, I can combine together the top parts. 4 plus 15 gives me 19, 6. 
x squared. Uh, 3, 6 minus 14, 6 gives us minus uh, 11, 6 x, and then a plus 3. And that would be your answer. And I believe that's the end of the lesson. Yes, it is. So I'm going to save this.